Uh, hoi and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. This is going to be the first video in my series on toilets and there's going to be a full length video for each kind of toilet. Right, so let's get going. I have a porta potty cassette toilet. So it's quite a simple toilet. Uh, the top half is the seat, of course and it works much the same as any other toilet in that respect. Uh, the bottom half is where it gets a bit complicated. So in the bottom half there is a little trap door which opens the hole between the seat part and the tank. Uh, the tank is about the size of a suitcase and that's where all of the waste is stored. Um, on the front there's a little dial to tell you when it's getting full and basically when you do your business you sit down, you do your business uh, there's a little flusher at the back which uh, pumps some like watery chemicals through and then you open a little trap door and your business goes through the hole and then you close the trap door, shut the lid and go on with your day. Basically the top part of the toilet disattaches and you're left with the sort of suitcase sized waste tank. Uh, you make sure that it's all shut up properly and then you can take that to the Elysian point which is kind of like a giant toilet. Uh, boaters kind of have access to them all across uh, the rivers and the canals and basically you take off the lid and there's a little arm that comes down on ours. Uh, you take off the lid slowly, you uh, tip in your human waste and then when you're done with that I would always put a little bit of water in, put the lid back on, shake it around a bit take the lid off, tip it in again and then put some uh, water around the edges of any splashes and then flush the, the l -san and you're done. You take the lid, put it back on, take your toilet back to your boat, attach it to the top of the toilet again and you're ready to go again. But at the moment we empty about every two weeks so it's not too bad. So the cost of the toilet was £60 overall I think. Um, the Elsans are included in the license fee for the boat. Uh, you have to use two ply toilet paper, so always cheap toilet paper, otherwise it can block the toilet. Um, I think that's true for every boat. And I suppose the chemicals are about four or five pounds for a massive bottle that will last basically forever. It's cheap, it's small. Uh, if it goes wrong it doesn't go too badly wrong. Um, you can take it out of the boat so with a pump out you have to take your boat to the pump out with a cassette you can take the cassette to the Elsan on a little cart rather than having to move your whole boat so that's a advantage I'd say. Emptying it is the worst thing I suppose. Oh and I suppose the other worst thing would be that the chemicals that you use in the flush to help break down the waste, um, they're not very good for the environment and I don't really like that. At, for the vast majority of the time you can't smell anything. Uh, when you do a number two it's my preference to have the little trap door open when you're relieving yourself and then yeah some smells do escape and then you shut the door when you're done but um, yeah I think with that particular issue a number two is always going to smell so it's not that much different from a normal house. Oh so many things. Uh, if the trap door isn't properly shut when you take it out to empty it you can get a little leak. We did have a leaky tank uh, it wasn't very leaky but we soon had to replace that once we realised it was leaky so that wasn't very nice uh, but it just meant cleaning up some waste. Oh I once dropped the cap into the Elsan so that's a hazard I suppose. Uh, oh splashback I suppose but you get used to it after like one or two goes you don't make any of these mistakes because like you know what you're doing. So we were advised by a lot of people that they were better because obviously if the canal freezes we can just take the boat, the toilet out and empty it. We're not stuck without being able to use the toilet. Um, and also 
it's probably the most efficient for space i think as far as any toilet for boats go we only have the the two little squares where we have the toilets um, and we can also move them into the shower or into the engine room if we need to or on the roof um whereas with things like a pump out you have a massive tank somewhere uh, with composting toilets you have the um the compost to store until it's ready so i suppose that's where my issues come uh with the other two kinds but yeah there's nothing to say i might not change my mind in future thank you for watching if you have any interest in hearing more about either of these particular toilets then please do check out the links in the description thank you so much for joining us on this narrowboat adventure if you would like to again please do subscribe and have a lovely day i hope i've filled your dreams with poop bye